and you know in the past I did a first ride review on this Ducati X Diablo S and uh, I did a top five things that I hate about this uh, Ducati X Diablo S which was hard to come up with those items because I tell you this bike is really awesome um, I haven't yet to get uh, got around to doing a full-on review on this bike because I'm still there's still a lot of things that I want to uh, need to learn on this bike uh, such as uh, a lot of the electronic rider aids and the menus. I still really haven't messed with that. I'm not really big on the electronic rider aids. Uh, but I want to talk about top five things that I love about this Ducati X Diablo S. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. I tell you guys. The number one thing that I love about this bike right off the jump This right here A torque <laughs> Tell you guys Oh man Oh Cool <laughs> I love it man The torque on this is absolutely awesome 95 pounds feet of torque 157 horsepower Woo! and they put a lot of that power down low and i love it man absolutely love it number two is the bluetooth feature on this man i love where i can connect my samsung gear s3 to this and it will tell me when a call is coming in or a text is coming in I love that I mean it's a nice little convenience feature on there uh, but anyways number three thing that I love about this bike is I love the feel of it it's got a un it's got unique character to its riding feel it has a little bit of vibration that feels good it's like a, a, a where you can feel the power working it's not an irritation vibration where it like uh, while your hand will go to sleep or anything like that it's very subtle but it's like you feel this engine this 1200 and I think 1262 cc testostrata or however you say that word engine and it's uh L twin engine and it's really amazing I tell you this engine is absolutely fantastic man I love the feel I really truly love the feel of this bike unlike you know with japanese bikes their power is so high highly refined and over engineered that you don't feel it's fun don't get me wrong they're fun Woo, look at here we got some twist action out here <laughs> twist action but i'll tell you guys that this bike it just feels so much better than the japanese i tell you, I, I i truly love this bike and I'm not a cruiser guy. I'm really not a cruiser guy. But this bike is, oh man, beautiful. But anyways, number four thing that I love about this bike is it turns in the twisties. It turns like on a dime, man. It has a 240 fat rear tire. But this thing turns on a dime, man. It, it truly does. You know, compared to a lot of the different cruisers out there, I'll tell you that this thing is so, oh my God, it's just, it's so different than a lot of cruisers out there, man. It truly is. It's, uh, it's, it's very weird. It's a weird bike because, uh, like I said, it's just, it's unusual to see a bike that has a 240 rear tire. Now it weighs 545 pounds, which is light for a cruiser, but for it to turn like it does is, is, is just amazing. The engineering that went into this bike, man. Wow. Uh, but number five thing that I really love about this bike is I love the Brembo brakes, man. Look at this. Stops on a dime, boy. Them Brembo brakes are amazing, man absolutely amazing then you got that torque <laughs> this is such a fun cruiser man 
I'm telling you, for those of you cruiser riders out there looking to pep up your life, you're getting bored of the cruiser world, riding your big old, big old stank Harleys, you need to get your Ducati X Diablo S. Tell you guys, where you can really throw it around in the twisties, crank the throttle. It's awesome. Feel that beautiful feel to it. And it's a reliable bike so far. I've had no issues with this bike, man. How could I forget my rear brake failed me in the past, which I did a video on. But there was a recall on it, and the dealer took care of it, no problem. So if you buy a 2016, make sure the recall work was done, and you should be fine. Also, I wanted to mention, which I mentioned in the past, the belt cover allows for debris to hit the belt which can damage the belt and cause it to snap. However, the belt is Kevlar. I have a tiny bit of damage. The dealer said it's fine. I haven't had any problems. I love this bike. I really, I truly do, man. Oh, these Brembo brakes, I tell you guys, I've never really been, I have never been one to really pay attention to brakes, to be honest with you. But these brakes, are just in a league of their own these brembo brakes i hear a lot i used to hear a lot of you guys always talk about brembo brakes as, you know being the best they feel good good bite and i never had brembo brake brakes in the past and i said oh man brakes are brakes who cares about freaking brembo or nissan brakes who care brakes are brakes say no nah, man brembo brakes are the business guys these things i bite like a champ and they have good feel it's amazing for this 545 pound cruiser and it stops on a dime boy like bop, 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 bop. <laughs> it's amazing man I'll tell you guys this is the best fifth what I pay fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars the best fourteen thousand nine hundred dollars I've ever spent I tell you guys and I know brand new, they're like 25,000, so I saved a fortune, man. And I bought mine with only a couple of thousand miles on it. I keep it in sport mode, though, as you guys know. I turn all the electronic rides off, rider aids off, put it in sport mode. That's the way I like it. I don't care about any of the other modes, do this and that. And this, I tell you, you, go through the menu on this sap sucker, man. You'll be all day going through the menu on this thing, man. And uh, put that sap sucker in, in sport. Take all the rider aids off of here. Get on that throttle, boy. Woo! You have a good time. Real good time. <laughs> I love it, baby. Woo! The Italian baby. This is my Italian baby. She fine, ain't she? She real fine. I like her real nice. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I will eventually get to a full arm review on this bike. And, uh... So look forward to that in the future, but until then, for those of you guys that want to get my gear, you know, my, my leather jackets, camo pants, high-vis stuff, boots, cameras, everything, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos, or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab, My Gear, and those are a bunch of links to all of my stuff, and uh, for those of you that want to see more of my videos, click on the menu tab, My Videos, and those are a bunch of uh, playlists with my over nearly 1200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate through and hopefully find something that will inform you entertain you hey hit thumbs up if you like this video share this video guys the Ducati X Diablo is, is in my opinion the best cruiser you can buy it really is especially for you sport bike riders out there the baddest cruiser ever Eva! Eva! Woo! <laughs> I love that talk, baby. But anyway, subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. That showcases a van that I customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods. And that channel has everything from build videos, trip videos, uh, anything and everything, Bug Out Moto. As a courtesy, I included two video playlists, one for new riders, and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders, and also my popular videos playlist. Hey, hit the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Take care.